Good evening, folks. I'm Detroit Miracle, and welcome to this edition of Relationship Facts. This such episode will be about outside attachments, meaning when two people mutually agree to enter into a relationship, there are outside things that they bring into their new relationship. It might be ex-wives, ex-husband, and children from prior relationships that are involved in it. We know sometimes it can cause a rift in a relationship because there is no way around the fact or no way to get around the fact that you must still be a father to your children as well as pay your alimony. And we know the new wife or the new girlfriend probably will not get along with the wife or girlfriend from the prior relationship because there is always jealousy involved or envy to the point where she may feel that her partner still cares for this woman and it might be vice versa. You know, it might pertain to the woman's ex-husband and ex-boyfriend and she in fact might have children with him. So the new boyfriend, new husband may not like that guy who she was once involved with. Hey, many are well aware of what I'm talking about and everyone seeks a solution to that such dilemma. Well, I will simply say that if you meet somebody, then there is a talking and discussing process where sort of like a meet and greet or something where you put everything on the table and say, look, I'm, um, I have children, I have an ex, I have a spouse, so I have to let you know that so that there will not be any misunderstanding when someone comes and drops off my kids or my uh, ex-husband comes over and drops off our daughter because of the custody arrangements. So it all boils down to being honest and letting your partner know about whatever outside attachment that they may have. Yes, honesty is the best policy. Do not lead anyone on. Do not shock anyone at the last minute by telling them that, hey, I have an ex-husband, I have an ex-wife, I have 10 children. Because if you do so, then that's an indication that you are not completely honest with your new partner in the beginning. Yes, people. And chances are many people in relationships, whether the relationships be sort of serious or completely serious, has outside attachments. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Such as the case with people having children from previous relationships. Hey, it's a normal thing in society these days. Now, I feel as though if you get into a relationship with someone that accepts you, then they should be able to accept your outside attachments. Because it's understanding that you might have been married previously or had a girlfriend, boyfriend, but at some point it fell apart and neither 
or neither of you could stay together. That's understandable because it happens all the time. It is a most frequent thing in this society. And sometimes people have been through eight relationships. So you know their excessive baggage is extensive there. Now, if someone has outside attachments that are unreasonably large, then I would feel as though the partner should rethink their choice and maybe seek someone else out if their such baggage or attachments is something that they could not handle. But people, when you meet someone you like, whether it be a male or female, man or woman, talk things out and be completely honest and let each other know that, hey, if you are going to accept me, then you must accept my situation. And I do have what you would call baggage because no one enters into a relationship usually without having been through some things with someone else unless they're just starting off fresh and new out of high school. Yeah, people think that over. And please drop those likes, comments, and up those subscriptions to me, Detroit Miracle.